let's move on to this uh, this next piece, which I think is very interesting. So um, there's this congressman, Dean Phillips. He's considered sort of a centristy Democrat uh, in Minnesota. And he has for a while now been uh, saying, you know, Biden is too old, basically. And I think Democrats should uh, look at their options in terms of the next presidential nominating contest. He's now making those calls a little more assertively and not ruling out the possibility of he himself jumping into the race. So let's take a listen to a bit of what Congressman Dean Phillips, Democrat of Minnesota, had to say. Democrats are telling me that they want not a coronation, but they want a competition. The New York Times poll from this week shows 55% of Democratic voters want some alternatives to the current people in the primary. 83% of those under 30, Democrats under 30, want alternatives and about 76% of independents. So I just want to make decide? my case. When are you going to decide? Well, I think, well, th let me get to my point. Okay. So if we don't heed- I've given you some room. <laughs> yes, you have. If we don't heed that call, shame on us. And the consequences, I believe, are going to be disastrous. So my call is to those who are well-positioned, well-prepared, of good character and competency, they know who they are, to jump in because Democrats and the country need competition. It makes everything better. That's my call to them right now. So if they don't, you will? I'm not saying I will. I, look, I think I'm well positioned to be president of the United States. You do? I do not believe I'm well positioned to run for it right now. People who are mm -hmm. should jump in because we need to meet the moment. The moment is now. That is what the country is asking. Like, would she, in your mind, be the heir apparent if, for some reason, the president of the United States were not to seek the nomination in 2024? I'm glad you asked the question, and my answer is really simple. Competition. As many people as humanly possible with the talent, the time, the energy, the ethics to enter a primary should do it. We have 12 Republicans as options for Republican primary voters. Right now, we only have three in the Democratic side. I believe in competition. We're the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. Democracy means the freedom to make choices and we don't have many of them. Mm. I mean, it's a it's a real classic centrist pitch because there's no content to it. You know, it's just like right. choices. I like choices, which listen, I agree. We should have democracy in the Democratic Party. Um, Democratic voters should have the ability to evaluate the choices they already have by uh, virtue of a debate that the president has said he's absolutely not going to do, and the DNC has failed to even you know make any moves towards setting up. But uh, you know, there's no critique outside of just like, hey, we should have choices and maybe this guy is too old. I also think it's funny, Sagar, that no one knows who Dean Phillips is. Nope. No one has ever heard of Dean Phillips before in their life. He's like the most forgettable, unimpressive character you could possibly. I and mean, this is not, a, no offense to him, but this is like the most plain vanilla, random congressman you can possibly imagine. And yet this guy gets taken seriously by the media and the two candidates that are actually in the race already. Don't uh, explain that to me. Oh, it's outrageous. You know, you got some freaking backbenching congressman on Face the Nation. This is one of the most supposed important political shows in the country. Marianne Williamson and RFK Jr. are polling well above the threshold for a debate. Uh, to my knowledge, RFK has not been on Face the Nation, nor has uh, Marianne Williamson. I mean, and you got Major Garrett there, like, treating this guy like he's serious. What, just because he was elected to, you know, Congress? It's just one of those where it's ridiculous the disparate amount of treatment which is happening here, but also so deeply indicative of so many problems in our primary process. We have it too, you know, in many cases on the Republican side, you could see, you know, Ron DeSantis, look how much more seriously he's taken than Vivek Ramaswamy. By many, you know, accounts, they're polling very in very similar positions. Vivek's media coverage is beginning to tick up with the polling. Yeah. Maybe I guess they're a little bit more likely, but you know, they're still treat Mike Pence and Nikki Haley, people who are poll like one, 2% barely, you know, as serious candidates. And then when you really put it up against people like Kennedy and Williamson, you're just like, this is insane because Ramaswamy is polling around the same levels as RFK or Marianne. Same with many other elected Republicans, you know, in terms of uh, who are in many cases pulling even below them. And yet yeah. they're getting media treatment and not them. So it, it, it's just totally crazy. And this guy, he hasn't even announced. Kennedy and Williamson are actually running. Like, what are they doing? Yeah, well, and I love too how his call for choice 
doesn't include any sort of um, reflection on the candidates that are in the race or acknowledgement right. that they really even exist. So there's that as well. But I mean, this has sparked some speculation. You see these pieces still pop up in the press of like, oh, donors are still evaluating their options and maybe Biden is still going to pull out of the race, which I think is really fan fiction. And I, I mean, do you think there's any chance this guy actually runs? I find it very, very unlikely that he would actually jump into the race. I feel like he just wants to sort of make a little bit of name for himself and a little bit of waves yeah. in the press right now. Yeah, it's possible. I, I don't think most people are going to care, you know, really either way. Uh, but I mean, here's I guess here's the only pro case for doing this by getting people like him to say it in mainstream media and saying we should have a debate, we should have some competition, maybe they'll wake up to the fact that there already is competition and it could actually lead to something. But I'm not gonna hold my yeah. breath. It's such a stupid, you know, it's such a stupid view into how these people actually view democracy. I think that's a good point though. I think that's a good point. It puts it on the table. I mean, it's silly that it has to come from a backbench Congress member yeah. that nobody's heard of, but that is the way Washington works. When they say there's no serious candidate in the race, it's partly because you have um, you know, people who have not been held elected office in Washington, D.C., who are the ones in the race. So they find it more difficult to dismiss someone who is a member of Congress who, you know, even though he doesn't have any like ideological content to his critique, is at least standing up for the idea that there should be some democracy and that there should be some choice, uh, a notion that overwhelmingly is held within the Democratic base. I mean, we're about to go over some of the numbers with young people and Joe Biden, the way they feel about this. I mean, they just by huge numbers want a different candidate, are backing other candidates actively, want to see debates. But this is really the reality within a lot of the Democratic base. So, you know, potentially if you have more people who make some waves like this, maybe a dam will break and maybe there'll be more pressure put on Democrats or at least a light shined on their hypocrisy of running around talking about how much they care about democracy and at the same time doing everything they can to block the actual democratic will of the people. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right, we're subscriber funded, we're building something new, we wanna replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.